Hello everyone, uh, my name is Stephanie, welcome to my channel. Today is April 1st. In some parts of social media land, it's referred to as Camp NaNoWriMo 2022 April month. In some parts, it's Vida Vlog Every Day in April. I am vlogging daily, so I'm working on my book. That I'm delayed a bit on, so... Part of the month will be that, and part of the month will be just write those lots. So, because I am going to be releasing this May 4th, so I need to get it done before the end of the month. Today is April 1st. Today's April Fool's Day. I don't typically join in on all the uh, fun pranks and all that, but I did pull a prank on my kids. I told them, I said, come here, kids. I'm like, listen, you didn't do any schoolwork yesterday, did you? No. Well, then you have to do some today. But it's Friday. We take Fridays off here, typically, on a regular week. And I said, well, since you did any schoolwork yesterday, you have to do double today. You have to do... Jackson, you have to do 15 pages in your social studies book. And you have to do... Read 10 pages in your big fat textbook about science. And you have to do five pages of math, or lessons of math. And then Liana, you have to do like 20 pages of this, 10 pages of this, and 5 pages of your math from each of your math book. Jack and Liana start stomping off mad. And Jackson starts fake crying. I'm like, come here, child. Are you mad? Yeah, I'm mad. Why? You know, it's just a joke. April Fool's. And Illy's like, Ugh. And my other kid, Jack, who's nine, he started laughing. He thought it was funny. So that's how I started out my day. I took no get out of bed. I'm in Texas, central time zone. I'm still not used to the time change as in like going ahead two hours because we're back. Anyways, going two hours difference because I'm from the Pacific time zone, Oregon. And we went from Oregon to Texas in like a matter of days instead of like a week and a half. So still getting used to that. But today, my plan is today I'm going to write... A chapter, and a chapter is usually around 2,000 to 3,000 words. So I want to get a chapter or at least 2,000 words, which are, whichever comes first. My daughter is so funny. She's like, where are you at in your story? And I tell her a part of my story, like, these characters are going on a date. She's like, you know what should happen. Uh, the chocolate should melt, and the flowers should be melted, and this, and this, and this. I'm like, wow. You want everything to go wrong on their date. It'd be funny. So I might take her. She's a really good storyteller, so I might take some of her suggestion maybe not exactly it and then she's like she asked me today she asked me to write after I'm done with my romance books to write a cozy mystery novel that is not romance because she has a bunch of like free paranormal mysteries and cozy mysteries on in on her kindle like 50 60 70 of them and she's read them all and they all of them have like romance like the main character gets together with the detective or whatever and that's how the story ends all the time they're together so she wants me to write a cozy mystery novel that is not a romance novel, just, you know. So I said, well, I did some books about how to write a cozy mystery. So, I mean, I could, but no problem. So she's like, okay, mom, I'm just tired of all the romance in books. She's almost 12. So, so today my goal is to write at least 2,000 words or finish my chapter. And I also, this weekend, I want to get started on my Kanban board and usually my Kanban board has like writing goals um, like promotional type post video type goals and like um, YouTube uh, video goals this time I'm gonna do a little bit different so I'm gonna have my writing goals and and everything I've been writing like word counts drafting editing publishing um, promotional stuff all the writing stuff there Possibly. But I'm going to have a writing goal, a like video upload type goal. And then the third goal is I'm going to plan what the kids are going to be doing for schoolwork for the next three months. So I thought it would be better because I always try to plan like a whole like whole year at a time or like six months at a time for their schoolwork. And it, stuff always happens. So I thought, what if I just did it a quarter at a time like I do with my goals? So smaller chunks get done the same amount of stuff overall 
you guys have a better idea of what we're going to be doing over the next three months as opposed to over the next year. And now that we're in Texas, and we're going to be following Texas rules for homeschooling, which are a little bit different than Oregon. They're more relaxed in some areas, but not so relaxed in other areas. Um, if you're interested to in know what it what the differences are, let me know, and I can do that on this channel. Um, but I'm going to be doing more homeschool sip things on my other channel, I think. I don't know. Actually, I have no idea what I'm going to be doing with my other channel. It's there. There's videos on it. I have no idea. But uh, I'm going to get to writing, and then I'm going to write for like an hour. And after an hour, I'm going to work on my goals. And I think what I'm going to do is purple is going to be my writing goals. Um, green and, or not green, orange and blue are going to be my social media, YouTube type plans. And this green, because I just like green. And usually green is, has I've been putting green in the planners for the kids, outdoor stuff. So green is going to be their school plans. Yes, I have more than one stack of green because I know there'll be more. So I was thinking, what if I did orange for like YouTube online stuff? And then I did green for my daughter's, um, my daughter's school plans and blue for my son's school plans, but in the same color. I was thinking of doing that. I will circle back around. I'll let you guys know what I decide. Uh, um, I'm going to work on that this weekend. But today, writing and starting with goals and uh, trying to commit myself to writing a bit. And if I can manage it, I might jump on a live stream here or there. So, welcome to April. Welcome to Camp Nanaimo, April 22, 2022. Welcome to Vlog Every Day in April. Welcome to my channel. Stick around and you'll get to know me. And as always, have a wonderful day.